Welcome to our segment on using video in Cubase. First of all, select Devices, Device Setup, Video. Select Video Player. From here you can choose three different video engines. Video for Windows, Direct Show, and QuickTime. And you can also choose your screen size. Click OK. However, Cubase supports some video compression types better than others. If you notice your video doesn't play back very well, try to use a different file compression type or a different video engine. In Preferences, under the File menu, choose the Video submenu. Here you have two parameters. Show video thumbnails. If this is checked, video thumbnails will show in the video track. Video cache size. This determines the amount of memory allocated to the thumbnails. Adjust accordingly. Click OK. Now let's import some video files. Video files have to be the same size and compression format in order to work correctly. Select File, Import, Video File. Choose the video file you want. Down here you can see the video file's information and the Extract Audio checkbox. If that's checked, Cubase will import the audio file as well. Click Open and use the lock button to prevent any accidental changes to the video track. If the Show Frame Numbers button is activated, each shown thumbnail shows its frame number also. When Snap Thumbnails is activated, the thumbnail will be positioned in its exact starting point. Double click on the video clip or select Devices, Video. The Video Player window will pop up. We set up the size of this window here. Let's play our video clip. If you right click on the player, the clip will play in full screen mode. To go back to its original size, right click again. You can extract audio from video files. Select File, Import, Audio from Video File. Choose the video file you want. Click Open. Cubase SX users have the option to replace audio inside a video file. Select File, Replace Audio in Video File. Choose the video file. Click Open. Then choose your audio file and click Open again. And this concludes using video in Cubase.